right, we're live at Pace Studio with Piers Faccini. He's going to perform a few songs for us this afternoon. Uh, Piers, why don't you tell us about the first one before you dive into it? Uh, the first song is called Drone. And um, it's written from the point of view of a man who has lost his brother in a drone strike in Syria. And uh, so it's told in the first person. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I saw my town disappear and stroke Dust and every on the air we choke Vengeance comes with the savage fist put out an album called uh, I Dreamed an Island uh, back in October <coughs> and uh, I can tell that it comprises a, a lot of issues and interests of yours globally and uh, but would you tell us how you arrived at that particular title? So um, the island is kind of a symbol of utopia and in this particular instance it's a very specific utopia which is funny enough, based on fact and history. So the, the utopia is simply the idea that people actually manage to get along when they have different races and creeds, and religions, etc. And so it's inspired by both the history of Sicily, um, but also the kind of the idea of what Sicily is, because it's this island in the center of the Mediterranean, surrounded by all these different languages, cultures and religions. And 
and itself it's a kind of rainbow nation in a way. Um, so I wanted to talk about that and to dream of this utopia because of what's politically going on today. There's a kind of shift uh, towards xenophobia, nationalism, potentially a rise in fascism. So I kind of felt like my small duty as a songwriter and as a voice was to make at least my position clear, but to do it hopefully in a poetic way and as a songwriter. So I've written songs about it. Right, yeah. Uh, will you tell us a little about the second song you're going to play? Well, the second song is in a way is a case in point because it's called Bring Down the Wall. And it's simply a, a song that was written in, in kind of as a result of me reading that right now, at this time in the world, there are more walls separating one people, one country, one state from another than at any other point in history. So in a way, just that is a kind of symbolic statistic. What does that say about us, you know? So I think going back to this utopian island, on this utopian island, uh, there are no walls because we don't need them. We're not afraid of others. We're not afraid of difference. We celebrate it. So we bring it down. Whenever you're ready. Bring down the wall, break it up. Run around, bring down the wall, shake it. Must come down, I'll keep the flame burning.
To France when you were really young, and you still live in France. Um, so yeah, m my family moved to France when I was six, mm -hmm. and I w and I was I lived there from the ages of six till ten, mm -hmm. and then went back to the UK, and then I went back to France between the ages of eighteen and twenty. Went to art college in Paris, then went back to the, to London, and I've been living in in uh, in France for the last uh, twelve years. And uh, clearly, you are multilingual. How many languages do you speak? Um, fluently, I speak three languages, yeah. And when, when you're writing music, uh, how do you decide when it fits best uh, to bring in another language? I mean, the thing that's great about, you know, different languages is that they, uh, they're like instruments. So, for example, that, that last song, Bring Down the Wall, we kind of added on an extra bit, which was just, which is a, a traditional um, from from Naples, um, which is a tamoriata, a kind of tarantella. But it's like I, you can't do that in English. So uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to be able to to sing in that language, and so it's like picking up an instrument and having suddenly a new color that you can use. Great. Uh, well, why don't you tell us a little about your your next song? Okay. Um, this uh, this next song is called "The Many Were More," and uh, more than anything, it's uh, it's a real celebration of kind of plurality, and uh, I guess it's one of the songs that represents the album, uh, you know, more than any other. And um, uh, on the record, um, there's a, a, a part of the song which is sung in Arabic. And I'm going to try and do it for you. I don't, <laughs> I don't speak Arabic, but uh, I've, I've sort of learned to sing that, that little part. So. And that little part in Arabic is a 12th century Sicilian poem. to the 
Milky Way Rode on lightning till the break of day First up the Council One I'm from the Union Two Next up the Council Four A multitude and number the many were more The many were more about like where you'll be headed next where we can see you live um so i've i've already played the new york show um but we're off we played in colorado as well but we're just off to nashville tomorrow um playing a show called music city roots um and then we're going to go to dc and um, we're playing at um, a great really fantastic venue which really represents the album in a way because we're playing at a venue called sixth and i which is actually a synagogue And it's a synagogue that has a very kind of interesting vision of how to use this place of worship, but also to include concerts and events and discussions and make it kind of multi-dominational, denominational. Um, so we're going to be doing a show there, which is going to be great, because I think that really kind of represents what the album's about. And then after that, our last show is going to be um, an NPR mountain stage in Morgantown. And then we're going to fly out uh, back to Paris and back to Rome. Simone is going to go back to Rome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for being with us here today. And uh, we hope you'll stop by again soon. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. <laughs> 